Creating an ovulation calendar is pretty simple. The way to do this is to just get any calendar you might have and um, what you'll do with that is you'll note on the calendar the days of your menstrual period and you want to start with the first day of your menstrual period. So on whichever day uh, that occurs uh, you write down number one and what you can do is just continue forward uh, writing on every subsequent day, number two, number three, four, so on and so forth. And then when you have your next uh, period, uh, that again will start the whole process over again and you'll start with number one on that day. Uh, by doing this, you'll know what the length of your entire menstrual cycle is. Um, um, and a normal cycle ranges between 25 and 35 days. If your cycle is either less or greater than that, uh, there's something causing that and you should probably seek out the help uh, of a physician to help figure that out. But if your uh, cycle is within 25 and 35 days, as most are, um, then uh, usually the most common reason for creating an ovulation cycle is trying to achieve pregnancy. So the next thing you want to uh, figure out is when you ovulate. Uh, ovulation is the optimal time to become pregnant. That usually happens anywhere between uh, 13 and 15 days before the onset of your period. So what you do is you create a calendar of writing down when you have your periods and um, and then you do that for several months and then when you see a clear pattern, then you can then extrapolate from that and go forward and, and optimize the times when you would engage in intercourse to try to achieve pregnancy.